and we are back with our weekly kids kitchen hack all right so this one is going to interest you because have you been cooking and they this heavy fire it makes you want to just run away they say if you can't take the heat get out of the kitchen but luckily chef charles here from sofrito cafe sofrito is here to let us know exactly what are some of those measures precautionary measures that you can take one while using gas two in the kitchen cooking and then there's a heavy flame of fire what do you do and a whole lot more but first let's start with gas gas has so many people going like it will not be me using gas for so many reasons why are we afraid of gas why are people um a little bit hesitant when it comes to gas gas is very dangerous and it can kill you it is it is how dangerous is it even picking me picking a call near the gas station it can easily oh, yeah. hit you so okay so you have to stay away you don't pick phone calls close to gas close to gas all right what else and even when you are lighting it you have to be very careful you don't first open it uh-huh you open a little bit and you light you don't open it then you light then, it can yeah. easily burn you you can open it and walk away and, walk and away. then come back and light yes okay because yeah. it's it's already filled the room at this point that is very risky all right what Even else when it's close to the door uh-huh it's not good to hit okay the impact the of impact um of the doors and windows and stuff you have to be very careful <gasps> and another thing shave is it true that if you spray maybe um uh, say any uh anything any spray i'm thinking maybe uh, and this is me trying to wonder does that also apply with uh, a toilet spray or is it only for um if you're spraying against pests uh. yeah so th those do they all come into play because i've heard you can't spray anything yeah, close to gas it's true it is yeah, it can easily light and, and okay that so the doom and whatever insecticides there is you do not spray when you have running gas in the house yes okay what else uh, when you have children around children around even you have to keep it closed okay. after using it and out of their yeah, reach someone right can easily knock it and it starts burning up okay mm and out of their reach so these are very crucial measures now let's get to the juicy part yeah. or not so juicy <laughs> this is me extending away very often you've you know been cooking point. and there is a very Oil. scary flame that comes through something like shape you're about to show us this yes can i, I do it from far this side no, don't, Inside. Okay. Don't, so, don't, don't burn away. Okay. So very often yes. we've been cooking, and uh, hey, uh, your burner breaks into a flame. What do you do? It's scary. <laughs> so just in case you say something like that. <gasps> you, you oh my goodness! Stop it. Okay. Mm. So that is water. This is water. This is, is that oil. right? It's oil. Oil. It won't burn oil. Yeah. That's oil and yes, water. And is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's not always good to, to make them together like that. It can easily burn your kitchen. Okay. So yeah. in case we have something like that, we have a fire this extinguisher. One with your hands. Yeah. You might have seen this around, and it's important for you to have it in your home. Yes. It's not just for hotels. Or restaurants this here is a fire extinguisher so this it, is the lock it turns out let's first remove this lock okay yeah if it's there you cannot move it so oh that's do the not first thing do not are you doing that okay so <laughs> can we yeah. lock it up okay yeah, so you remove the lock i'm going to try it for just a little bit like just a little bit it, yeah. this way just there i want here? to shut i want to shut down this fire I want to put it down a little bit. So here we are going to move this. Okay. Then you turn it. You face directly. Are the we fire. safe? So you you, oh you face it directly close to, to the fire. Like this, okay. And you can easily stop it. Are you seeing? Yeah. Just okay. like that. 
Oh, okay. So at that point, you... And so we are trying not to go the whole way because when you put it out, it's white, right? Yeah, it's white. It's almost like powder-like exactly, things. Exactly, and... yeah. Yeah, so, so this is how you smoke around and put down all the fire. Perfect. This is how you use this. Now, should you not have a fire extinguisher, what do you use? Uh, you can have a, a towel. A towel? Yeah. You can have a, a towel a, that you can cover. A wet towel and you throw it. A there, wet towel? Like it has to be when wet. When you're at home and you don't have something like that. Okay. You can either get a heavyweight towel and just put it down there. You don't fall yeah. with that towel. On you the can fire. as well cover it. Okay. Yeah. You don't pour water in it because when you pour water in it, you are just it's just going to catch up. All right. So can I use our our tray to fan the fire out? Yes. You can a light use something tray. like that and it cools down a little. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Shay. You're welcome. You just saved the day. And look, I am still in perfect fit. <laughs> One piece. That is well. That's it for our. King Kitchen Hacks this week. I hope you will take good care.